Pretty project that tended well for the majority of the time, but uh, yeah, just tell us how you're feeling about that. Another loss is what one and four now. Mm. Yeah, I want to go home and kick the dog. I don't have a dog. Um, so, uh, yeah, it just hurts, and it? it hurts in your gut when you when that happens. Like, you, um, you, you just, just want to get out of that hole of, of confidence and form you're in, and I tried. I mean, we tried hard. It wasn't through effort that we we didn't get out of there today. Um, I just, we just wrapped up there briefly. Um, we didn't get too many chances in the first half with the ball. Um, the ones we did, we weren't great. We we're clunky again. Second half, um, we did get our opportunities, and we just didn't take them. Like it was uh, some skill error, some. Um, system error in attack and that's what's hurting us we we, we should have scored more than 14 points so i think we led line breaks we had more line breaks than them and in that second half and you look at it we're in there we're we're, we're fighting and scrapping and doing our best in attack and looking clunky and, and for the most part they were as well but then they come down they get the entry nice little grubber through score in the corner and game's over so that was the negative and it does you you hurt over it and you you're trying to find the solutions to make it better, but again, we've got to find positives as well. Like uh, that defence was was amazing. I think anyone's banged with them like that. We definitely didn't last year. Last year we uh, we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't have held up to that. So we're, we're definitely physical. I was really happy with our D. I was really happy with our physicality. I was really happy with our set piece. Uh, second half they had some good fixes, which. Got them, uh, got them set piece parity. I thought we had a real dominant set piece in the first half, which sort of levelled out some of the defensive penalties we gave away. But yeah, it's it's a it's an ordinary feeling. Um, I just hope. Oh, I sound like I'm pleading here, but I just hope the New South Wales rugby public appreciate our effort, uh, the boys' effort. Sorry, um, and I oh, just got to coach better to to get that clinical nature in our attack. Talk about that, and just the, talk about the sort of the change to more power-based game and the build-up to this season. You know, this Chiefs were very much using the exam with that quarterfinals, particularly with how you sort of the forwards got in that collision battle. Is that just is that a pleasing sort of element you can take out of this? Just how they kind of they sort of manage that collision battle? Yeah, 100. I, I thought, and Jakey probably he's in there seeing the hits. I thought we we did really well, and and we had a clear plan to go back and pass a little less amongst our forwards and and run a little harder and. Um, when we got the ascendancy, we didn't do that. We had some poor turnovers with guys just with little tip passes and amongst the forwards, which caused breakdown issue or handling error. Um, if we all just got it like Teleni C did and just run hard, we um, we probably uh, our attack could then swim off the back of that. And we, and we, the couple of line breaks we had, we just didn't get the points off the back of them. I thought the Marky line break. When it went uh, Donaldson to Lambert, uh, that looked that that stunk. Like we should have, a we should have gone the other side. Uh, we were unmanned and uh, overmanned, or b we should have had a bit more shape and clinical approach. And again, that's on me. I got to coach up better. Jake, um, can, can you bring us in with the attack? What's going on there? Even in the first like first minute, there was an error there with kind of an out the back play, and it's just. A, Saying that there's a communication, is it not being the right spot? Um, yeah, it's hard to probably put your finger on something in the moment. What's, I don't know, I sort of, I'm not sure. Like our attack last year was red hot. Um, kind of tonight felt like it did the switch. Um, yeah, like a, maybe it's got a little bit to do with confidence. Yeah, you sort of look at the first four games, apart from the Fiji in second half, we haven't really been able to put decent amount of phases together and we had a pretty clear uh, game plan tonight we wanted to be more direct you know Darren touched on the decision making at the line but they knew they were going to check our tips and, and get presence on ball and I guess in the crucial moments it just 
we just reverted back to tipping on the line and some of the decision making around carrying and tipping just yeah, it wasn't up to scratch. Darren, how will this Brumby's week be different from the last one? No, oh, significantly different. It'll be a whole, uh, yeah, it'll be different in every way. We're a way to start with. Uh, personnel will be significantly different uh, than what we played with them in the first round. Our situations are different. Um, we need to get a, a, not only a confidence boosting win, but we need to get a, a ladder win as well. Um, had they end up today, I, I didn't see the final score. Yeah, so. Um, I can only hope they lost a bit of momentum off the back of the loss. But um, again, if we go down with the same fight we had today, we'll be competitive and we'll be in the contest right to the end. We can't win it if we execute how we did today. They'd be too, they'll be too clinical for us if we if we continue executing and uh, at, the, at the level we are. But again, I, I'll just go back to that point. The boys haven't quit. We know that's a... It's a long season. We knew this next two weeks with the Chiefs and the Brumbies was going to be super hard. Two tough teams to try and find your form back. Um, we'll go down, we'll keep swinging and uh, we'll get the break and then we'll, we'll reevaluate. And as I said to him, Mike, playoffs, you, you've got to arrive there in form and, and healthy. And that's a long way away yet. So and we've got a lot of it, most of our injuries that we be back. A luck will turn on that front. We'll find form definitely over that period. And uh, yeah, I'm 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 frustrated and disappointed, and angry now, but I'm as determined and uh, confident that we'll we'll hit the back end of the season and uh, and be in with a shot. Are you due to rest any more of these blokes this week? Or... <laughs> we haven't had to. They all keep getting injured. Yep. So we're pretty good there. Uh, no. Good case by case basis. Is that he's sort of set it. He's a little bit more now. Uh, no, there's, there's rules around it. We've, we've cleared, um, there's boundaries around how you do it. We've cleared with Eddie where we're at, but um, we're pretty good. Like the, the few guys that, that were due to be rested have um, had a couple of weeks off through injury, so that, that counts. And um, yeah, hoops is a big one, but um, we'll, we'll probably try and get through till we get Charlie back before we do that one. Um, Brandy's yeah, it's going to be tough. Almost the kind of side that you wanted. It makes it easier to get up the next week, given it is the Brumbies and it is in Canberra. Interesting. Someone else chatting to someone today about that. Do you, if you can only win one of the two that we had here, would you prefer to win the Chiefs? And uh, I think, yeah, the first, like, yeah, don't, what are we? 0 10. I think we're 10 on the bounce against them. So. Yeah, I, I love that underdog stuff. Like, we'll go down and, and we'll go down there fighting. Um, yeah, and we'll, we'll try and rain on their parade. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Injuries um, any out tonight, but also just guys like Maxi likely to come back in. Yeah, we should be all right next week. We should get a couple back, at least two, maybe four. Um, from tonight, I, I said this last week, actually, after the, the Canes game, I thought we only had two or three out and we ended up with eight. So I, I spoke a bit early last week, but at the moment, yeah, the, the doc's having a beer, so that's a good sign. Um, so as opposed to last week, he was he was pretty pretty busy. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we go. And we've got an eight-day turnaround, so boys are due for a weekend off. They can. It, it's been a bit of a pressure cooker for everyone. I'm actually looking forward to a weekend off and uh, and um, to regroup and come back on Monday. Ben Dowling looked pretty solid at 15. Does that give you some? I guess, ease of mind with the selection issues in the back line? Yeah, he was good. Like, I, Dal, Dal is a great kid and he'll go on and be a great player. I won't plug him too much. They did some good things early, but then he looked a little nervy at different times, fumbled a couple of passes in our end of the field, a couple of poor kicks. I wouldn't. He, I, I imagine he's not as happy with the clinical nature of his performance, but he's a, definitely a talented player. Um, but yeah, we got some options there. Like obviously, Dill's come back now. Um, Lala Kai be back in the picture. Uh, Jorgensen back in the picture. So yeah, we, we should have a little bit more strike power and some options at the back there. Last one, um, Darren. I know it's not front and centre now, but there's been reports this week that Joseph Sulley is coming to rugby. All but done. Um, is he in your sights at the Tars? It seems like a logical home. Are you involved in those? 
conversation? No, I, I haven't been involved with, with, with Joseph. I haven't met the guy nor spoken to him. I, I've, I've read what you guys have read, unfortunately, yeah. Or fortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to just go get um, more for you guys.